fighting. <laughs> Sweet. Good morning. It's uh, Friday, June 24th, and we just had some breakfast. This is Samuel. He's going to drive us out, and uh, our safari starts today. We're on our way to Sweetwater, which is roughly 330 kilometers away from Nairobi, and we're going to be uh, passing on both sides of the equator. So once we're there, we can demonstrate the uh, differences in the way that the water rotates when you flush the toilet. And we were told that when you're north of the equator, it rotates clockwise. And then when you pass into the south of the equator, it rotates anti-clockwise. It's completely normal to see giant plumes of black smoke every day. Yeah, yeah like that. <laughs> Goose, yeah, why not? We, we've just arrived at the equator. Uh, this is Agnes. We're roughly 18 kilometers from our hotel that we're going to stay at tonight. Good. And okay. she's going to do a, a video. Okay, video. She's going to do a quick demonstration here in a moment to okay, I... show how the water uh, rotates okay. clockwise and counterclockwise okay. as you change from the north to the okay. south. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so. <laughs> okay. Can we see the demonstration now? Okay. So, I'm Peter, my name. Yeah? Peter? Ryan. Nice to meet you. Nice hey. to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, this is the equator. You know, equator. Right here, this line? Yeah, this is the line, yeah? This is East to west, yeah? Okay. This is the north, this is the south. South over there. North over there. Yeah. So, it's a demonstration. When you move to the north, you pour water, it rotates clockwise north. Okay. South, it rotates and clockwise, equator, no rotation. So, to start, we move 20 meters north and south, we finish on the line. Let's move to the north. Okay. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Well, so 20 meters is a minimum distance we can see the equator. Okay. Yeah. So you need it to be 20 meters north yeah. uh, of the equator so that you can see the rotation oh, yes. and then have a change. So this is 20 exactly meters 20 meters north whereby okay. the water turns clockwise. And because with clear water you can't see it clearly, the sticks here act as an indicator to show how the water goes. So you can see the indicators are turning clockwise and the water goes in the north. Oh wow. So this force or the effect is called Coriolis force or Coriolis effect. The Coriolis and, effect. Yeah, it happens due to magnetic force and gravitational pull. And the far we go away from the line, the faster the water rotates. So when you go back to your country, from which country? California. California, United States. Correct. So when you go to United States, because it's in the northern hemisphere, right. you find that the water rotates clockwise. Right. As you can see at the bottom here, you can see the spirals spinning oh, yeah. the way the water goes this way. So when we go to the south, you find that the spiral spins the other way. Wow. And that's how we differentiate between the north and the south. Yeah. Mm. So that is the north. Let's see what happens in the south, 20 okay. meters south. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Kanini, you are the Kanini. May I see you? May I see you? So this is the south, uh, this side is the, is the south and hemisphere, yeah? Whereby usually the water turns the other way and clockwise. And this is how we show the difference between the north and the south. See the difference wow. now. Yeah. It's counterclockwise. It's counterclockwise. In the south. You can see even if you try to make the indicator go the other way, it depicts to the normal direction. So look at also the spirals. You can see the spirals going the other way. So exactly on the line, you will find that no spirals, just the water spins going down. No out. spirals? No spirals right on the line. So in other words, you can find Coriolis force as a balance in your two forces. You know the near, the slower. So when the two meet, they balance it. Let's see on the line. <laughs> it is not a myth. No. It is not a myth. <laughs> let's, do, let, let's do it aside, no problem, so long as we are right on the line, yeah? Okay. So this is exactly zero degrees equator line, where I told you, no rotation. So here, unless the distances of wind, which make it get a go either way, no uniform rotation as you have seen in north and south, yeah? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the water. Wow. Very strange. No spirals. Oh my goodness. <laughs> if you try to force the indicator go ahead away. No rotation, nothing. Wow. Oh my money, but you move on. We've arrived at the Sweetwater's tented camp. It's about 205 miles outside of Nairobi and we're in the Old Pejeta Conservancy, which is about 90,000 acres of wildlife conserv conservancy. And it's home to many different types of animals. Um, 
we were told at nighttime to keep our tent zipped up because baboons come and take your things. So um, we thought that was pretty funny. And as you can see, it's called the Sweetwater's Tented Camp, but it's by far the nicest tented camp we've ever seen. After our drive, when we pulled up to the sign, it said Sweetwater's Tented Camp. And we didn't really take the time to read the itinerary, so we didn't know what it was all about. But uh, definitely this is about the closest you can get to a building and still call it a tent. We've got beds, everything, the whole thing's got electricity. We've got running water, two closets, showers, toilets. I mean, they call this a tent just because it's made out of fabric, but this is nice. So right now we're going to go on a... A game drive, you know, it's about uh, coming up to 3.30 in the afternoon and our driver is going to take us around. Again, this this is a wildlife preserve, it's 90,000 acres and they have all kinds of animals here. It's a water buck, visible directly from our tent. These are called the impalas. And the male impalas, the impalas, they have horns and the female ones, they don't have horns. This element, elephant right now. You can call it the partial zebra or the common zebra. The other one is gravy zebra. It's a preserve, and there are people who work here to protect it. Uh, there's no fences, and there's every kind of animal. Uh, there, we can just drive through, and you know, lions can go hunt, and there's elephants just walking around, and gazelles, and antelope, and impalas, and chimpanzees, hippos, rhinos, you name it. It's all here, and it's not, they're not in cages. Subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos.